Penguins, nice win the other night at home. Entertaining game. Matt Murray, 43 saves. They play the Rangers on Tuesday in New York on the road for three more. Interesting because Patrick Hornquist has returned and immediately paid dividends. Uh, when you look at this guy, Andrew, I, I, I see someone who's totally different than most hockey players, willing to do things that not a lot of people can do. He's at the end of a contract at the end of this season. So far, nothing in terms of negotiations. What do you expect they will do with him? He makes $4.7 million this year. I think they're going to lose him, Bob. The time to get him was this offseason. Jim Rutherford's on the record as saying he doesn't like signing guys to extensions midseason when they're in their final year. I think he's a $6 million player, and I don't think the Penguins can budget that in for next year. I think the Penguins should sign him. I think they're going to try to look elsewhere to find someone like him that skates a little bit better with Sidney Crosby and can stay on a line with Sidney Crosby. I think that's their long-term goal, but I think that's awfully hard to find, and look how hard it was to find Hornquist after so many attempts to try to find somebody like him. Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing with the Penguins Andrew, they seem to be able to hang on to guys they want to hang on to. So uh, I'm not saying that they're going to sign him, but I do think they're going to try and make an effort to sign him because I think he's too important to what they do. Well, then you can't and, let him get to that last and, year, Paul. And he's and he's kind of a, a, a unique in, in some ways, the kind of player that gives you some things that you're not going to really find very easily in other free agents. So um, to me, I think the Penguins, the, the one thing we've seen from them is when they want something to happen, they make it happen. Yeah, but there have to be some other things happen for that to happen because that's a lot of money. Hagelin is still under contract for one more year. They may have to make a deal if they want to accommodate that. We'll see. And still, no trade for a third line center, but Greg McKegg is playing pretty well, and I think they like him better than they originally thought. So we'll see if they roll with that for a while. We're due for a break. We'll take it. Penguins in action against the Rangers coming up on Tuesday night, trying to uh, begin a three-game road trip with a win. We'll be right back.